चैप्टर एट बॉडी पार्ट्स फंक्शंस एंड हाइजीन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हैव यू एवर नोटिस्ड योर ब्रीदिंग पैटर्न विच हेल्दी हैबिट्स डू यू रेगुलरली फॉलो आर बॉडी इज एन अमेजिंग मशीन इट हैज मैनी डिफरेंट पार्ट्स एंड वी ऑल यूज आर डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पजेस इन डेली लाइफ we can see this world through our eyes hear through our ears smell things through our nose eat food using our mouth run with our legs etc in this way all the parts of our body are responsible to perform various functions let us study about some of them growth and development we can define growth as the progressive increase in size of the body parts of a child with our increasing age our body parts grow and at a certain age we have some defined height for a good height and healthy body structure we need adequate and sufficient nutrition in our diet when we talk about development we say improvement in various abilities or skills like speaking learning etc both growth and development go simultaneously in our body but at different rates breathing breath is life if we do not breathe we will die we breathe through our nose and air rushes to our lungs the air going in and out of our lungs is called breathing when we breathe in or when air rushes into our lungs our belly moves outwards when we breathe out or when air rushes out of our lungs our belly moves inwards our breathing pattern determines our physical and emotional state of being a healthy adult breathes 12 to 20 times a minute in a normal situation but if an adult breathes more than 20 times a minute it means the person is having abnormal breathing pattern practicing yoga is the best way to improve our breathing pattern when we breathe normally it produces soft whoosh sound but when the regular breath sound is considered abnormal it means our breathing pattern varies due to some cause Let us learn about some different sound produced during different breathing patterns. Snoring is a sound generated while sleeping caused due to the vibration of tissues in the airway. Puffing is a sound produced by a child or an adult when they breathe rapidly after running or heavy exercise. Huffing is the sound produced when we breathe forcefully while coughing or when we blow air into balloon wheezing is a whistle like a sound that can be heard when a child or an adult tries to breathe deeply through filled nose sneezing is a sudden and noisy sound produced during the expelling of air through nasal cavities seeing Our eyes are the most precious gift of God to us. With the help of our eyes, we can see this wonderful and beautiful world. Eyes are our natural camera. They capture the image of the things around us when light fall on them and send it to our brain which enables us to see. Hearing. We hear varieties of sound around us. Music. car horn falling water drops people whispering chirping of birds etc are the sounds that we hear around us we can hear these sounds with the help of our ears we can also respond to others when we listen to them through our ears our ear has three parts outer ear middle ear and inner ear sound passes through these parts of the ear and then to the brain which enables us to hear 
healthy habits hygiene we should keep our body clean to stay fit and free of germs here are some healthy habits we should follow trim the nails regularly brush your teeth twice a day do not pick your nose splash cold water in the eyes to clean them wash your hands with soap before and after meals clean the wax in your ear using ear bud clean your nose by blowing it take bath every day toilets whenever we talk about toilets hygiene is the first thing that should be taken care of it is one of the most important parts of our living and maintaining its hygiene is our duty we should keep our toilets clean so as to make it germ free and protect ourselves from diseases proper toilet habits here are some rules you should follow while using toilets keep your toilet clean for good hygiene wash your hands with soap and water after using toilet don't flush dirty tissues in the toilet bowl don't spill water on the floor close water tap after use don't squat on the toilet seat importance of proper clothing and footwear proper and clean clothing and footwear makes us look smart and active wearing clean clothes always put a good impression on others it also reflects your personality we should also wear school uniform properly to reflect ourselves as a disciplined child proper play and rest excess of everything is bad but we must have adequate rest and proper break so as to refresh ourselves just like studying is an important part of our lives similarly along with studies playing helps us to stay fit and healthy as it involves physical exercise of our body we should also sleep at least 7 to 8 hours a day to feel fresh and keep our body and mind calm